How's it going, YouTube Nation? I am Average Will, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got two mystery boxes from Harsh Life Spotlights. They are $27, and I wish I remembered what was in these. Uh, I can't remember what the, obviously, I think it's like a guaranteed value, um, but I can't remember if these were the ones that had like the mixture, like the Pokemon cards and stuff in them or not. Uh, Harsh Life has dropped a few different mystery boxes. Uh, I know that they currently have a run where it was like one book and you had a chance between like a, a $5 book and like a $250 book or something like that. So you had some crazy chances you were going to get a book, um, at least one book obviously. Uh, but with these, they were $20 uh, and then shipping. I think it was $20 shipped for each. Uh, I got number eight and number 21. Um, these came in just the flowering envelopes. I opened them up so you guys didn't have to worry about me sitting here screwing around opening them. But yeah, so I will put Harsh Life's info down in the description below for the Instagram. Keep an eye on their page uh, because Harsh Life, he does drop mystery boxes uh, quite periodically. Um, and they, they have some good stuff in there. They have some nice GPs. I cannot remember what the GPs were. If I go searching through Instagram and I find it, I'll post it up here. If not, I'll put it down in the description below, like what the top hit was for these mystery boxes, because I cannot remember. So we're gonna do this pretty quickly. We're gonna jump right in and uh, let's see what we got. Let's get into them again. They were 27 shipped. So I don't know if it was like $20 and $7 shipping or whatnot, but it was just 27 shipped. There's first one open. We're gonna open these up real quick and get into them. And again, I can't remember if these ones had, because I believe at the time, around the time I ordered these, there were the ones that had the, uh, he was putting the Pokemon cards in his box. So we will see uh, if these are them. And if we landed, uh, well, there is a Pokemon card in here, so we'll see. We'll see what we got. This first box, I believe, is number 21. Uh, I got 8 and 21. Those are two of my numbers that I usually go for. Uh, so let's see first what Pokemon card we got. I'm going to show it to you guys first. Here we go. Anything good, Pokemon lovers? Oh, we got one of the Japanese cards. All right, I have no idea if there's any value on this. Uh, Pokemon cards are not my thing. Um, if there's value on it, let me know in the comments below. So let's get into these books. We're gonna save that Gemini mailer because that one is uh, reusable for sure. Good old pool tabs. And uh, Harsh Life is pretty good. Like I said before, he they drop mystery boxes constantly, pretty, pretty consistently on his Instagram. Uh, and, and like I said, there's a current one going, I believe it's like you can get, you know, the ranging is from like $5 to 150 or 250, something like that. Uh, nice range. And it's like one, one or two books in each mystery box. So yeah, I don't, and again, I wish I could remember what the GP was for this. I feel like I'm repeating myself. So here we go. First book. Oh, it was upside down. It's the Ultimates number, or Ultimates 2. Issue number 13, Independence Day. Nice little uh, Captain America cover. Next one up. Oh, okay, so this is the Free Comic Book Day, Jack Kirby, The Epic Life uh, of the King of Comics. Nice. Uh, and then this, this comic book store did the good old stamp on there. All right, next one, this has a uh, handwritten price tag of five dollars on the back. Let's see what we got here. And I think each box has five books in it. Uh, Spider Island, all right. Spider Island number two. And again, these are going to be random. Again, twenty-seven dollars shipped. Uh, you're really trying to hit that GP. That's the whole purpose of doing these. Is you're really trying to get the GP. And again, I wish I could remember what the GP was. All right, so next book up. What do we got here? Oh, nice. So this is uh, Eros and Psych number two. Uh, this is a great Pulp Fiction homage cover. That's pretty cool. I like that. Loved Pulp Fiction. Thought that was all a masterpiece of a movie. And then here's the final book. I don't know if this is like the hit of this box or not. What do we get here? Oh, okay. This has $15 on it. And let's see what this one is real quick. 
So, but I like that. I like that Aero Psych book. Um, I've heard of it before. I I know I've seen the cover because it is the Pulp Fiction homage cover. I've, I've seen it floating around before. So let's see what book we got here. Uh, this is from Ablaze, and you're not going to tell me what cover. Is it Comic Exposure? I don't know. Is it the same thing? Is this Aero Psych? It kind of looks like the same girl. So yeah, I'm going to say this is Aero Psych because she's got the uh, two red ribbons in her hair, which this girl has. So I guess these go together. That's cool. All right, not bad. And it's got a $15 price tag on it. Let's jump into box number eight. Let's see what we got. I, and you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of the indie stuff. So those are uh, those are interesting. Uh, maybe it was number one, it'd be a little bit better because uh, then that way I could, uh, I could really drink. Oh, this, this card got all jacked up, this little wrapper. So we got another Japanese card here, but I'm gonna take it out so it's a little easier to see. Again, if this has any value, you guys let me know. I highly doubt those cards have huge value, but I could be wrong. I have no idea when it comes to uh, when it comes to Pokemon cards or even Marvel cards. I have another Marvel box I gotta open. Um, I was thinking about doing something on whatnot with some boxes. I've got some cards coming in uh, that I, I'm thinking about doing a card show. But man, packing them and making sure everything's sent properly is uh, is rough. So let's see here. Ooh, we got an old book on the bottom. Like, it's a beat up book, but if it's on the bottom, uh, where we had the top hit was the last book we looked at. That's interesting. And again, can't remember what the GP was, so I don't know if this is it, it or not. Uh, so here's the first book out of this one. What is this? Oh, it's a G.I. Joe. Nice. G.I. Joe number 58. You got some Cobra on the front of it. Nice Cobra Commander Reborn. So there we go. Next book. Oh, this is uh, uh, the timeless um, Alex Ross cover for one of one of the X-Men covers, I believe. One of the X-Men books. But that's cool. We got Nightcrawler. Really do like the timeless one. Thor's my favorite. I like the Wolver Wolverine one was really nice. Spider-Woman was nice as well. Here we go. Next up. Oh, look at that, we got Namor. So there's another one. And I think this is a Fantastic Four Anthesis, right? Is it, am I saying that right? Could be wrong, but there's another uh, Alex Ross timeless cover. And then now the final book, right? Was that five? That was that was only four, okay, or three. So we, this is number four, but like I said, it looks old. So I'm gonna have hope that there's value with this book. Let's see, here we go. Tell me, was this a good one? Are we screaming in the comments? Oh, okay, so it is, it's a 10 cent goodness. Uh, Challengers of the Unknown. I know these books, some of these books do carry a pretty solid value. And again, this is out of a $27 mystery box. I had a, I had a couple 12 centers. Uh, one was, um, was it uh, a Kong book? It wasn't King Kong, it was a different one. And then there was the, um, Oh my gosh, the, oh, I wish I could remember now, The Fly, Something Fly, The uh, the Adventures of the Fly or something like that, which were older books, which carried like a 20 something dollar value. So again, these older books carry some value because they are old, you know, obviously being 10 centers. Uh, would this be, you guys let me know, is this is this considered golden age or is this, you know, is this, uh, I mean, obviously I think what, right? Are we in golden age there? Uh, I'm still very new and novice to that kind of stuff. But yeah, we got Challengers of the Unknown, number number 14, 10 cent book. You guys let me know in the comments below, is this, is this a great book to have? Um, but yeah, that, those are the two mystery boxes we got. Um, $27 shipped each. Again, you're not looking, you're not gonna get these crazy, you know, ratio variants and stuff like that in these for the most part you're gonna get the you're gonna get potential one hits uh and everything because you're chasing that one gp uh so again 27 dollars you're not it's not like you're throwing you know 50 100 200 250 500 dollars on something where you know you're gonna get uh slabs and stuff like that you had the chance at the one gp which i remember it being big because that's why i bought two because it was one i wanted uh, again 
Apologies for not realizing, not remembering what that GP was, or even taking the five minutes to look it up on Instagram. That's just me being lazy. Uh, but yeah, that's what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Um, I really do like these mystery boxes. Uh, I, I do think Harsh Life does a pretty good job of putting some of these boxes together and giving people a chance to get some really nice books uh, at a low price point, right? Um, you're not getting, you're not spending 50, 50 plus, you know, hundred dollars, stuff like that. We are going to get 10 to 12 books and you might get a, you might get two or three okay books. Uh, but then you're trying to, you know, if you're trying to move those and you know, get the value back and everything, it's a little harder. So I do appreciate these boxes and I think Harsh Life does a really good job of putting these together. Again, go check them out on Instagram. Link is down in the description below. I believe he's also on Whatnot. So give him a follow on Whatnot, but I don't think it's Harsh Life. I think it's something else. I'm not 100% sure. I think he's got it on his Instagram. Again, go check out his Instagram. Uh, so we'll, we'll roll back. If you guys enjoyed the video, give that, uh, slap that thumbs up. Uh, if you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, if you feel so inclined to, I, I greatly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come watch this schmuck open some video, you know, some some boxes, right? Uh, I really do appreciate it. It's nice. We're we're over we're over 800 subs, man, and and that number that number is crazy to even think about. Uh, that that there's that many people who are who are watching me open open mystery boxes and do live streams every week. So I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Till next time, YouTube, I'm Average Will, and I'm out.